Gotta go fly that thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised they don't have opportunities for the local guys to go up. And yeah, they just save it all for air shows. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say. Then again, the uh, maintenance hours for flight time oh, yeah. ratio, and that's probably oh, yeah. silly. I don't even know what the maintenance would be on that. Ridiculous. Georgetown Towers, Cox, 6 2 Alpha Whiskey, holding short runway 1 8, ready to go. This is 6 2 Alpha Whiskey, Georgetown Tower, make left traffic, report midfield each pass. Runway 1 8, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1 8, we'll make left traffic and report midfield downwind, 6 2 Alpha Whiskey. Alright. Standing on. Taxi off, strobe on. Final looks clear. It's only May. It's already. That's already unbearable. Crazy hot <laughs> in here. It's a common. Yeah. yeah, you've never flown in the summer, have you? Nope. <laughs> That's probably officially the warmest day I've flown, huh? Speed's alive. Oh, the wind's pushing us hard. Yeah. <laughs> Left side, mixture full, power set. Landing light on, gauge to green, and speed's at 80. Whiskey is midfield. Six drop whiskey runway one eight clear touch and go. Clear touch and go one eight six drop whiskey. So far, everything's great, man. Cool. Yeah, feel free to uh, chime in if I'm... I'm waiting for you to mess up. You haven't yet.
will stick with 20 on this one. Yep. Seven hour charge rush on ground taxi via Alpha and Echo. All right. Oh. Right there, you go. Pull that power all the way out. There you go. You guys get that power and there's a little too long. Yeah. Yeah, with 20 degrees of flaps, you're really going to float quite a bit. So just kind of prepare for that. Um, okay. You just kind of kept powering a little too much. Yeah. Okay, if you need to add a little, just a little juice of power, just kind of juice it, but then pull it back out. Okay. Yeah, I think I have more of a constant power going. Yeah. On. Well, and whenever I feel my nose getting high, but the ground moving away i'm like oh god <laughs> yeah try to baby it so yeah that's good yeah with the stall horn going you know you're right there at landing speed but if you still got 10 feet yeah you know you got to play the power just a little bit okay i say you know you can just kind of just a little you know and yeah that adds you know kind of enough but you know the more you add you're just going to keep keep floating and yeah. keeping it straight helps yeah I didn't mean to kick the rudder so hard, but no, that will the, the correction wasn't coming. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't want to stall and land sideways. Yeah, I didn't need a little bit more. Other than that, the approach is good. You pulled power a little too soon back out there, and so you had to add a lot when you were. Uh, so we kind of drug it in. So keep it at maybe keep it at 15, just a little longer. Okay. Flaps up, mixture is full, power set, landing lights still on, gauges are still green, speed is 80. That was a good approach. What did you think about it? I liked the approach was okay. Um, but yeah, I can tell once you get... That's kind of my weakness, I think, lately is you get down and when it doesn't just want to settle, you know, you're just kind of like, well, <laughs> you just keep flying it. Yeah. Yeah, but, we get, you get a lot of float today, especially with 20 degrees. Yeah. When, uh, on these little Cessna flaps... Six pound whiskeys, midfield. Quick touch and go, 186 South Whiskey. Yeah, when you go from 20 to 30, pretty much you're adding drag. Right. That's pretty much all you're adding. Uh, so without that extra drag, then you're just going to float quite okay. a bit. All right, we'll try uh, two full flaps this time. Oh, you can do either one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying use full flaps or not. Um, yeah, well, we we try full flaps. See what that does. Yeah, I'll just see how that one feels, and then if it's too much, we'll go back. Depending on who you're talking to, some people land will land partial flaps, some people always land full. I try to always land full flaps, because they're there. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, so here, I'd keep, keep a little bit more power in. Put about 15, so we don't have to drag it in so much.
<laughs> there we go. Bomb settled. <laughs> Yeah, good. Did you like that better or did you like partial flaps? Uh, that was a lot better. Yeah, is that, I don't like all that float business. That's why. Yeah. I was always just laying full flaps. I just want to get on the ground. Well, on that. Especially in gusty conditions. But well, I say it's, you know, some people say in gusty conditions you want partial. Right. You know, in a crosswind, you want partial because you want more rudder authority. Right. Um, but, you know, it, it's... It, you know, get, get a feel for it. Do partial flaps, do full flaps, and you just kind of play with it. And as, you're, as your flying progresses, you'll kind of pick which one you like better. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm always kind of trying to strike that happy medium between... With full flaps, I feel like I get yanked around a little bit more uh -huh. uh, by the gust, but it does feel more stable, so... I suppose I'd choose more stable over. Yeah, same as you, and then you know Mick maybe more, maybe more twenty degrees. Like oh, we're on to twenty degrees. You know he's pretty he's pretty he's pretty stickler about things. Yeah. Um, but you know, you're the you're the you're the pilot. You're the one learning. So. Yeah. Well, um, I, I think we do. I mean, we play around with it. But, okay. Uh, I suppose when I'm soloing, I still kind of have no set opinion yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you know it's it's good to learn from different different instructors, just different viewpoints. You know, there's more than one ways to do things, and yeah. there's also there's a right and a wrong, but there's a little bit of in the area of you know making a decision yourself as the pilot. Yeah, this airplane will land just fine, no flaps. So yeah. Anywhere between no flaps and full flaps is a good option. Unless you got short field. Yeah. Uh, 6 2 Alpha Whiskey is midfield. 6 2 Alpha Whiskey, runway 1 8, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 1 8, 6 2 Alpha Whiskey. But you're doing a great job. Cool, thank you. Yeah, kind of that last last little bit before you settle, things kind of get a little a little squirrely. Yeah. Um, a little that is because of the wind. Well, and that's definitely something I want to get better at is not uh, giving up, so to speak. We're just like, well, we'll just see when it settles. It's like got a little more power than that, uh -huh. and to just see what. <laughs> yeah. Or, can, or go around, you know? I mean. Yep, that is always an option. Yeah, you know, I know people look at it, they'll say, every approach has the option to land. So. Yeah. Well, and I've gotten better at that as well, where I think early in my training, I was just really intent to land every time, and it's just going to be a bad landing, then. Yeah. Take a do over. Yeah, especially when you start getting passengers in here and you gotta well, start thinking about them. Like, is that that important to yeah. get on the ground? Or if we're late for something, you know, can, we, can we do one more, more, two, five, six, two, three, one more roll in the pattern? Running, is that really going to make, yeah. you know, make a big difference? Yeah, trying to hammer home that thought process. As we start kind of getting around these trees, that's when things kind of start getting hairy. Yeah. Yes, this is looking good. Just keep that nose up. Look down the runway. That was a lot better. Solid landing, but it was a lot yeah. better. You kept aligned with the runway. I feel you work on the rudders. Yeah. Uh, and I think you, you, uh, the other, the other two, you were just kind of working a little too much, and that, that makes it kind of squirrely. That one, you were, you were a lot more stabilized, you know, laterally. Yeah, or it felt longitudinally there. Felt better. 
Yeah, and I really have to remind myself pretty much every flight to just transition to looking down the end of the yeah. runway, not just... Hey, you know what? I admit it. You know, I've got a little bit of flying time under my belt. And, you know, there's there's times where I'll, I'll just, I'll get in a groove of, I just can't land an airplane. <laughs> they're all, they're all, you know, carrier landing is hard. Yeah. And I'll start to think about it. I go, you know, I'm not looking down the runway. Yeah. You know, you just, you forget. And that fixes it every time. You know, when you're, you're, lo you're looking at the numbers, and when you pull that nose up, then you just look straight down the runway. Yeah. And just keep that sight picture, and then it'll just, you'll just grease them in every time. You know, touched down so softly, you didn't even know you touched down yet. Yeah. No, those are good. I've had, had a few of those, but not, not too many, but that's all right. <laughs> All right, flaps up, mixture full, power set, landing still on. Tim's still good, pressure good. Beef at 80. What's Mick's biggest thing he harps on? Um, no, I'd have to say it's probably, at least when we come to land, I'm, I've gotten better at it, but it was just maintaining back pressure on the yoke. Six to Alpha Whiskey, midfield. Six to Alpha Whiskey, runway 18, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 18, six to Alpha Whiskey. Yeah, often I was, uh, had the wrong, uh, sight picture that I was looking at, so I was a lot flatter than I thought I was. Uh -huh. but his big thing that I would land is I hear his voice just saying, you know, pull up, pull up, and it, go figure, it works. Yeah. Um, I'd say one thing that, that I do, um, this is a personal preference, and what I do is when I come in, I'm on final, I trim the airplane, to where I have to push forward to maintain my airspeed. So the airplane wants to be nose up. So when it comes in, it's time to flare. All I do is just release that pressure and the airplane will just land itself. Yeah. So you can try that. Okay. So yeah, once you get it, so when we get a stabilizer on final, I'll show you what I, what I mean. Okay. And you may, you may hate it, but I say it's what I do. Well, I haven't been playing with it. A lot of times I will. Um, and I think I, I kind of know what you mean. Yeah. Um, not really doing it today for some reason, but. Yes, yeah, so once you get stabilized, then I'll start kind of rolling it back. Until you feel the pressure, you feel it? Yeah. So you have to really push forward to hold that. Don't push, don't push too much there. We started high, so we're gonna land a little longer. Yeah. But uh, just keep that, that pressure. I say it may make it more 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 work than you're wanting to do. So here you just kind of start releasing that back pressure, and all the way. How's that? Yeah, it's a little less to contend with when you're. Yeah, I just gotta remember you got remember to take it out though when you're gonna go around. But Donna, just give that a shot, you know. Okay. Um, you just you can't release it too much. You kind of let it go a little too much. Um, because then you kind of you flared real high, then you had to dive back down. Yeah. So uh, just like you would normal flare, you just, it's, you're using the trim just to help that flare. And you know when you get into uh, heavier airplanes with heavier noses. That really helps. Yeah, 172 is pretty light, but like that 182 we have, yeah, real heavy nose in, so you've really got to pull back. So you see a lot of people that land, you know, Tower, Tomahawk, they'll do three-point landings because three. they don't get the nose uh, up. The yeah. For 18, uh, ready to take off. 
Sonic 623 says traffic's just off departure and making left turns and patterns will follow traffic in the pattern. Make left traffic, report me please pass, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Runway 18, clear for takeoff, 623. How many landings was that, four? Uh, yeah, well, I think that was three. I think this will be number four. That's it. First one we did was 20 degrees flaps. Alright, flap set, make sure full power set, land on. Pages are green. Yeah, I think that's three. It may, it may have been four. I think that was four. Thinking back, okay. I'm trying to. There's one keep counter. Yeah, we'll say it was four. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, yeah, I think you might be right. Okay, so, have y'all gone through short field, soft field, all kind of stuff? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's do a short field landing. Let's hit the numbers. Let's hit the, uh, right in the middle of the of one eight. Okay. Whiskey is midfield. Request the option. We'll do a, assume we do a full stop. First stop and go. Alpha Whiskey, runway 1-8, clear to touch and go. Hey, 1-8, uh, touch and go. Uh, we'd like to know if we can get the option. Six Alpha Whiskey. Alpha Whiskey, runway 1-8, clear for the option. Clear for the option. 1-8, six Alpha Whiskey. Cool. All right, we'll do a full stop. Or I'm sure we'll do a uh, uh, short field to a stop and then a short field takeoff. Okay. Cool. Y'all have gone over that enough where you're comfortable doing that? I think so. Okay. Um, so to set it up, uh, approach just like normal, but uh, for the short field, um, come in at 65, don't you? Right, right. Yeah, we want to be just, yeah, just a little slower. So 60, between 60 and 65 is a good airspeed. Okay. Yes, we will definitely be slow enough to when we when we stop or when we hit hit the ground, we can stop as quickly as possible. Right. Um, and as soon as he flaps up, max braking. Right. Right. And you don't do max braking; just stop right. us. Right. You know, don't, don't we're not going to lock the tires up. Just uh, just come to let us come to a stop where we have runway to take back off. Okay. And then uh, and then yeah, you know the full back pressure and then. Flaps up. Well, leaf flaps down. Or, uh. Flap, flaps 10 anyway, I guess. Yeah, flaps for short field. Don't have to go all the way with them. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks uh, since I flew. I did some short the fields the last time I was up. But uh, touch and go. Dang near a month ago. Three, number two, follow sets and traffic short final runway one eight clear touching out. So we gotta be looking for traffic. We're gonna add a little bit of power, we're getting pretty low here. So the flatter you get, so we're pretty flat. The yeah. flatter you get, the more you're gonna kinda of float, kinda of like a rock skipping across the water. Okay. So if we do a little steeper, then when we First flare we'll touch down. So well. right here, go ahead and pull that power back out. I went all the way out. Sweet five hotel George in there. There you go. Hey, so if we're going to hit 1A, yeah, we want to flare uh, kind of over the threshold. Right. Space, uh, right, it's a little, air, a little power, a little power. <laughs> oh, we really sank. And descending, going to breakaway, just let you know in the area, and we'll... There you go, looking space. good, looking good. 285 Hotel, Roger. I just got a Boom. couple of small aircraft in the pattern for Perfect. left traffic. A Cessna touching down and a Tomahawk approaching left base. And Georgetown altimeter 2981. Two nine or eight one. Thank you. Great Perfect. Hotel. So you hit probably five feet past. Yeah, the just a hair. All right. So flaps ten, brakes. Power. Okay, gauges are green.
All right, let's say we cleared our 50 foot obstacle there. I think so. All right, good. Yeah, so we really sank fast there. Yeah. Yeah. With with gusty conditions, you know, it's whatever. But that was good. That was a really good approach. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't give it a lot of input there. Was... Yeah, if you'd kept that power out, we'd we'd hit the grass. So yeah. adding a little bit of power is good. I told you to pull the way out, but we we sank really fast. Um. Yeah, so, you know, ideally we want to be, you know, almost almost power to idle, just gliding in, right. a nice steep approach when we land. You know, say, you know, we had to do a uh, clear 50-foot obstacle at the at the threshold, not the, at the threshold, but, you know, at the approach in. If we kind of drag it in, yeah. that's not really going to work. You know, some of these little grass strips have trees that go right up pretty much to the runway. Upside, make sure full landing light on. Edge is still good. Speed at 80. Yeah, I think I was a little rusty on the uh, approach, but. Yeah, we just, we were really far out and we had to kind of drag it in, like I was saying. Yeah, that would, that'd be good for a soft field. Yeah, a little that, better for a soft field. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm, I'm mixing the two uh, techniques, which is. Yeah, you know, you might be presented at a time with a short, soft field landing. Yeah. Um, but when it's just a short, short field, um, concrete, yeah. then you want to get on the ground and, and stop as soon as possible. So let's try, uh, let's try a soft field, okay. and then a soft field takeoff. So another stop and go. Uh, we won't stop. We'll just do a uh, Roll, rolling soft field. We'll like slow a down enough. You can go call it there. Six Golf Whiskey is midfield. Six Golf Whiskey runway one eight for touching up. It'll be touching up. Uh, clear touch and go one eight. Six Golf Whiskey. Yeah, because you know we don't we don't want to stop really on a on a soft field. So we'll just. Uh, Touch down, slow the plane down a little bit, and then we'll transition to a soft field. So, you know, soft fields where you're going to kind of ride the wheelie right. and let the airplane come up, ground effect. All right, so this one's pretty much kind of like a normal approach. Right. Um, we just want to drag it in and land as softly as possible. That's right. all we're looking for. Add a little power if need be. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like soft fields because it's, to me, it's another way of saying just a nice as landing as possible. Yeah, yeah just treat <laughs> which, them all as soft field. Yeah, which, yeah, I'm always trying to do that. Georgetown Tower, uh, 623 on the left downwind for 1-8, touch and go. Uh, actually, option. And we're not concerned with where we're going to land too much on a soft field. We got 5,000 feet of runway, so we'll say it's 5,000 feet of grass. Yeah. So we're not too concerned with two, three, number two, four, with float. Number two, mile final runway, uh, one eight, clear for option. Number two for landing, runway one eight. So in this case, on soft field landing, really we could land with 20 degrees of flaps because we want, we just want to kind of float it in. But it's either way. How many more do you want to do? I would do this one, and I guess maybe just a normal. Okay. See what I can do with. Hot. I said, now we can start kind of looking at the end of the runway. Oh, that was it. There you go. Okay. 
flaps 10. Oh, look out, bird. I didn't quite get in ground effect there. Okay, what would you feel? Oh, the landing was okay. Uh, when I said nose up, uh, did you did you see what I meant? Just did you see it? Yeah, yeah. You put, I didn't add hardly any back pressure. I just put my hands there. So you added, you did pull back. So yeah, you know, if, if we just keep going flat, we don't keep back pressure. Airplane eventually will just lose lift and stall. So we got to keep that angle of attack increasing. Right. Yep. Cool. Up to it, right? Do what? Up to it. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah. Usually when when I'm trying to work on it by myself, it, it's always something like that where it's it's don't have to change a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're very close. It's just fine tuning. Yeah. It's very just fine tuning. Yeah, you know, my only critique is just to, to keep the nose coming up a little bit. Yeah, and that, I mean, that's been my constant uh, trade that I just have a hard time shaking some days. Yeah. And it's hard, you know, it's just, it was just a split second where the nose should be up right now. You know, it's just it's just learning to identify yeah. those times. So, other than that, man, you're, do you're doing great. I had to intervene only, what, twice? Yeah. Which is pretty good. Like Mick has taught you well. Yeah, I, I've been having fun doing it. Like I said, I've just been bummed that my frequencies dropped a little bit. Having to kind of scrounge for... Yeah, hey, it's more study time, right? Yeah. How are you doing the ground school? Um, no, I already, already took it. Okay, so you did the knowledge test? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I did. I uh, got my written and my medical done first, um, so I was ready to go. Get get flying. Six drop for whiskey is midfield full stop. Six drop for whiskey runway one eight clear to land. Clear to land one eight six drop for whiskey. Yeah, I just I talked to a lot of people and they were like, you know, if I would do it again, I would just knock all that stuff out. That way, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, I'd, like a week before my my check ride, I took my practical t or my written test. I didn't plan it out very well. My instructor wasn't really involved with my training. Yeah, well, he, he taught me to fly the airplane, and that was it. He didn't teach me anything else. So we're getting ready for check ride. He goes, "Did you take your knowledge test yet?" I said, "No." <laughs> What's what do you what do you mean? What knowledge test? It was, dude, you gotta go take your knowledge test. Like, how? I don't know. You didn't tell me how. Yeah. So like a week before, I had to go take it. I'd been studying, but I didn't know. I, was, I just I didn't know. Yeah, like the order of operations for. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you should have had that done a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to fly jets. That's all he wanted to. Do. Well, hopefully he. But he got it. Yeah. yeah. He, he's flying jets now. So. He was, a, he was a good guy. He just. Georgetown Tower, 63 on the left downwind for 18. I have the traffic in sight. You catching up to us? My C23 says the traffic's on a full stop, number two, runway. 1 8, clear, touch and go. 1 8, clear, touch and go, 63. Was that that Tomahawk? Yeah. The Tomahawk? Yeah. It's amazing those things can still fly. Well, when I was comparing the two flight schools, I honestly uh, went and looked at the Tomahawks and for a tall guy, they looked a little cramped, uh, but then also they were, I forget what your models those are, but they're not, not the newest. Little sideways. 
That's good. You actually added the perfect amount of back pressure, and then you let it out. <laughs> then you had, then you had to compensate. So yeah. that was good. I say it's just you're you're flying the airplane yourself. You're landing it, so um, it's just little little tweaks, and you'll get that as you go. You know, you're not gonna be perfect at it, and you know, maybe never will be. Yeah, it's well. a it's a constant learning. I was like, even you know. Even me, I still have to go back to the basic. What am I doing wrong? Why can't I land? Yeah. Six twelve whiskey, where would you like to park? Uh, over to Genesis. Six twelve whiskey. Six twelve whiskey, Roger Bravo Alpha Echo to Genesis, Mark. All right, Bravo Alpha Echo to Genesis, and switch around. Six twelve whiskey. All right, after landing, flaps are up. Your ground lean, off. Axion, strobe off.